our cultures, how wonderful our people are. How we need to help each other out. Tussles and disagree. There might be disagreements. There might be, you know, a little crystal cuffs here and there. But you know what? Everybody walks away. Everybody walks away. What they're establishing here is that you, that they're creating a standard. This is the injustice about this. This is the part of his defense is that he could, that he was trained. He's trained. Beatty was trained to shoot for center mass, and he was completely, 100% unabashed about that. He was completely unapologetic. He said it, I meant to kill him. And when I shot him, it was so that he would die. I was going to stop the assailant. And this is what they're being trained to do right now. This is what they're being trained. They're not, there's no warning shot. There's no rubber bullets. There's no talking to people. There's no, at any point, the police officer feels that they are threatened whatsoever. They have the right to kill each and every one of us. Each and every one. And the people who are browner or blacker will be the ones that pay the highest price. I'd like to bring up one more speaker. Marlani, good year, Kaipo. She's a part of movement Aloha no Kaina, and she's also been one of out of the groups that are here. Uh, all these groups here have actually come out from the very beginning in support of the elder Johanna to outcry this injustice. So please, Marlani. that we have it out for them. 
Um, so those are the things that we fight for. So I hope that um, all of us here today as we're gathering and marching can carry those two things at the same, very same time with us, this great love and aloha that drives who we are, but also this um, outrage and, and uh, commitment to really creating genuine security for our home. share something from the a statement that the Elder Tohana put together and um, not everyone has been able to hear the statement I do put it out on the website but I wanted to read it so that the voice of Colin and his family and the Elder Tohana is present with us even though right now there's their bodies cannot be because their hearts are broken nothing will ever bring Colin back to us we will never hear his contagious laugh, feel his touch, hear his voice, or see his future children. The hole in our hearts from the loss of Colin can never be mended. Christopher Didi is a very irresponsible, cowardly individual that took away the heartbeat of our family and forever changed us because of the poor decisions he made that tragic night including drinking and walking our Waikiki streets with a loaded personal firearm we can never forgive him moving forward our mission is to make sure that this never happens to another one of our sons or daughters here in Hawaii we will continue to work with all the groups and individuals that supported us since our tragic loss of Colin to ensure that no other parent will ever need to suffer through this kind of unnecessary loss of their own child. In honor of Colin, we are currently working on a new law which we will name the Colin Eldritch Law. This law will make it illegal for any public servant such as po police officers and special agents from consuming any amount of alcohol while carrying a firearm, whether on or off duty. If this new law saves the life of just one person, Holland's short life will not be lost in vain. I'd like to bring up Carolyn from Wilson Cage. She's going to give us a little bit of orientation about some of the safety security measures we're going to take on this. I just want to say first that our unity is our strength. We have a lot of uh, different religions, uh, different races and ethnicities here, but we stand together to express our outrage over the acquittal of Christopher Didi on murder. We oppose, together we oppose this racist system, not each other. Respect each other. Don't diss people on the basis of their sex, age, race, or appearance, whether they are part of our protest um, or not. Be conscious of the people around you, especially the elderly, small children, and the disabled. Everyone should be able to join this action. If you're carrying a sign, be very careful that you don't hit someone. You don't have to give your name or any other information to law enforcement unless you are charged with a crime. Whether you do so is up to you. However, please do not identify other people to them. Right. Never touch someone you don't personally know. Touching someone, even non-aggressively, is often categorized as assault. Law enforcement sometimes provokes an encounter in order to set someone up for an assault. Don't spread rumors, talk behind backs, or argue, argue antagonistically with a fellow protester. If you have a concern about what someone is doing, talk to the person on the side, if possible, and quietly. Law enforcement and the media look for antagonism between people and will use it to divide us. If you can't resolve something personally, ask others around you to help. Pair up, find a partner to walk with all the time, and don't uh, find yourself alone. The march may move a little bit quickly, though we'll try to keep it slowed down. Thank However, you. it's going to stop at a number of different places to allow everyone to get together into a tight group. So don't worry about getting left behind, but make sure you're with other people. 
So just to let people know the plan of where we're going to march, we're going to march Oceanside, down Kalakaua. There'll be a lot of people we'll reach, and I think that's a really good thing. People need to hear our outrage and our anger at this huge injustice. So we're going to march down. We're going to cross over to Pudio at um, Royal Hawaiian Avenue. And then we're going to go down to McDonald's for a vigil for Colin Elder. Um, when we're done with that, we're going to come back up to Hill, back to the zoo area where we are here. So uh, just uh, as orientation, uh, we got this really tall brother over here. You can follow him. <laughs> and then we also have Liz. She's going to have a... Uh, you'll she'll have a very distinctive voice. You'll be able to follow that too. <laughs> so we have two great leaders in the front. Uh, we're also going to have make sure that if there's people in the back that are kind of lagging behind, let's all malama each other, care for each other, and let's uh, just give up a wee up front. So wee! We're kind of falling too far back. Okay. Alright. So we can raise your hand. You guys are going to be uh, kind of uh, making sure that everybody stays together. So if they, if they tell you to move along, tell them, uh, give me a Give me a piggyback, okay? <laughs> All right. Once we're at the, um, one of the things that we're going to do is that we're going to Waikiki. We might, you know, we can be, you know, people may want to chant, people may want to, you know, speak out, express their outrage, but um, as we start, as we start getting closer to the McDonald's, uh, what we'd like to do is try to invoke the spirit of the ones who have passed, the ones who have been murdered. Colin Alberts, Michael Brown, and Gardner, Trayvon Martin. And we're going to ask everybody to join us in the Hawaii Aloha so that we can start gathering ourselves, our spirit, for when we arrive. And if anybody would like to provide ho'okupu, whether it be an oli or a song, uh, that would be the time to do that. But it's going to be a slightly different and then when we leave, we will again have a aloha together together. And we chose that song because most people know it, and we all understand that it's something that kind of brings us together. Yeah. And then afterwards, we can go back into to doing more of a, of, a, of a demonstration and a march and chanting. But when we're there, if you could please just try to um, give all of our aloha and our prayers to allow um, do what we can to try and Lift the burden from the elder Sohana. To try and take on some of their pain so they don't have to bear it alone. Mahalo. And there's a lot of signs, so anyone who doesn't have a sign, please um, you know, grab a sign. And then we're going to start the march. Hi, we're live uh, in Waikiki. <laughs> at the uh, rally in March for uh, justice for Colin Elder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna run down. Uh, thank you, this is, this is what it's about right now. Thank you, Craig. I'm gonna run down the street and get uh, kind of a head start view. <laughs> what are you doing, Doc? I am. I'm live streaming. We're live on the internet right now. There's Michael Daly, artist, also a documenter. This is a shoot-in. <laughs> we both play. You have like defense. a furry thing growing out of the top of your camera, bro. <laughs> Microphone. Work, so it's, I really appreciate what you do. Thank you. I, we, I appreciate what you do. So I'm going to go down the street a bit so that we get kind of a... Head start view of the march as it comes down the street. It's about uh, a near sunset here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Waikiki uh, being a district uh, of uh, Honolulu. Actually, it's a, what's called the special district uh, because it generates a lot of uh, uh, revenue through 
for the through the tourist industry uh, as we walk through we'll see what that's about this is a a vigil a protest a rally a march uh, justice for Colin Elderts who was uh, shot to death two years ago 19, in 2011 by a federal agent who was here working uh, APEC the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation Conference um, there is no contest there's no uh, controversy at all that he indeed uh, killed Colin Elders in a McDonald's and will be there soon on November 5th uh, 2011 Saturday shortly before the conference actually started the, the controversy is whether it was murder or manslaughter or something else. Uh, Christopher Didi, the agent, had been uh, drinking, bar hopping, ended up at a McDonald's uh, where um, Colin Elders was and uh, Colin was um, shot to death by Special Agent, Federal Agent Didi. The jury on the second trial that just concluded uh, found not guilty of murder uh, with hung juries on uh, manslaughter and a number of other charges and the um, judge hasn't said yet uh, what will happen and in fact has scheduled uh, an announcement of what will happen on August 29th. That's the group. What we're going to do is I'm going to walk down the street a little bit so we can get uh, a view of the group coming. It's uh, long shadows we see here are from sunset. So they'll be walking into the sun. So I want to get a little bit ahead of them so we can see what's going on. March down. I'm going to shoot with this uh, over my shoulder. So um, a lot of times I'll be shooting blind. Um, so keep that in mind. There is press covering this. We'll actually be going to the venue of the shooting itself, uh, which is a McDonald's. We're gonna cross uh, the street right here, so we can we can get uh, the group crossing the street. We'll get an idea of what's going on. And I'm right across the street from uh, world famous uh, Waikiki Beach.
Across the street, we'll be uh, walking with the group, but also ahead of the group. Very uh, well documented, but my friends, you're getting the only live feed is from me. You're gonna have to tune in the news later on for these other guys. Sorry, shooting blind a lot of the time. Wanted to get the ocean in the background so we know where we are. We're very close to the actual venue of the shooting. That was on Saturday, November 5th, 2011. Let's follow along with them. the camera here so I can see where I'm going and and get 
I'm at the uh, front of the march right now. I'm going to try and get out in front of it here. Okay. Slowing down a bit so that we can... Uh, And very well documented, but there's one live feed only here, and you're watching it. You're gonna have to wait for the news for the other guy. I am giving a workshop and live streaming next Saturday, not this coming Saturday. It's free. Shooting over my shoulder, so blind and shooting blind uh, some of the time. We are going to uh, Royal Hawaiian Avenue, I believe, where we will be uh, crossing the street. This is Waikiki. This is the famous Waikiki, the tourist Waikiki. The special district of Waikiki is defined as a special district because special uh, rules and regulations apply to it. I predicted it 35 years ago, uh, which was uh, quite a bit before it was actually declared a special district in the year 2000, I believe. People to see the signs. Gotta give you an idea of what, how people feel about this. Well, that's that says what a lot of people are feeling. There is no controversy at all that Special Agent Didi shot and killed an unarmed man, Colin Elder, local guy. One of our people. That's who we call us. One of us. We're near the uh, back of the marsh. I think what we'll do is we've shot from the front, so we will shoot. Uh, from the back. I have a little group called the Hawaii Gorilla Video Kui. We follow the same uh, strict guidelines as federal law enforcement officers. So we shoot first. I think uh, what I want to do here is kind of get a view of uh, the people were passing. It should be an interesting mix of tourists and homeless people.
boom shot, I hope you can see something. sidewalk here. As soon as we clear this part of the sidewalk, I'm going to try and get out in front again. a long time ago, some oh, half a century ago, there'd be a lay stand, people in a station wagon right here parked along the road building. Uh, We're going to stop uh, in front of the police station. Kill an innocent man! Thank 
We're stopped momentarily in front of the Honolulu Police Department Waikiki branch. Thanks for following along. It's a bumpy ride sometimes, I know. I'm running and shooting at the same time. Also passing through districts with uh, not that good bandwidth. There's a broad coalition of people here, a state legislator, scholars from the, professors from the University of Hawaii, uh, grassroots type activists, documenters, self-documenters, movement documenters, including uh, old-timer Ed Grevy. There's Ed. I know we can't hear what's going on, I'm sorry about that.
stop for a moment in front of the uh, Waikiki branch of the uh, Honolulu Police Department. Just past sunset here in uh, Honolulu, Hawaii. There are a lot of parallels uh, between the Colin Elders case and the recent one of Michael Brown in uh, Ferguson. I believe we're going down. not familiar with Waikiki, right through the concrete here is the beach. <laughs> this concrete canyon is kind of the uh, intestine to digest money for uh, Hawaii. There were two hotels on the beach. One was the Royal Hawaiian and the other was the Moana Surf Rider, which is this hotel here. Along the uh, shoreline, we're still uh, with.
within yards of the beach, but through concrete. storefronts that were passing. into the crowd so we can see what uh, the sidewalk looks like here and the people on it there's some question on what is sidewalk and what is uh, private in fact the hotels have encroached on public land to the extent where the boundaries are rather hard to tell they've taken a lesson from Las Vegas and as you can see the sidewalks are not straight they always go in toward a shopping area as I say this is a, a huge intestine for money for the uh, corporations that own these hotels how many of these hotels are locally owned well none these are owned by huge corporations That's just my commentary. Here we go. I believe we're crossing the street up here. No, I think one more. Royal Hawaiian. Can you see a wide? Uh, 
variety of Justice! people, young Justice! people, Justice! old people. the uh, McDonald's. You're live on the internet. All right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we'll be uh, very shortly. We'll be um, at the uh, McDonald's, the, the scene of the crime. And again, there's no contest at all about uh, whether Christopher Didi shot and killed Colin Elders. That's clear. There's also clear is that Colin Elders was unarmed. It's also clear that Christopher Didi, the special agent from the mainland, had been drinking that night. Hands up, don't shoot! 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 Hands up, don't shoot!
they've been staying at the uh, protest for Michael Brown in Ferguson, Mississippi. Same situation here. Unarmed person of color uh, shot to death by uh, law enforcement. Vendor. All these are very highly regulated. If you remember the uh, photographer Michael Daly, we saw him earlier in, in this uh, live stream, has been uh, arrested. He's an artist. He was drawing a picture of a person who turned out to be a undercover policeman. He was arrested. We do, however, have a good uh, painting of uh, undercover police. <laughs> I believe he recovered the property. <laughs> We're walking up a, a way now from the beach. If you're uh, not familiar with Waikiki, it runs the length of uh, near the uh, shore and then a few blocks inward toward uh, Alawai Canal, which was uh, built, uh, ooh, good question, a long time ago uh, to, as, a, as kind of a border and to uh, discourage, uh, cut up uh, properties and to... Um, make uh, farming impossible. Make room for this. We are walking down Royal Hawaiian Avenue, which runs perpendicular to Kalakaua, the main drag near the ocean, and Alawai, which runs by the canal. On November 5th, 2011, the early uh, wee hours of the morning, Colin Elderts and Special Agent Christopher Didi, who had been drinking, were ending the night at uh, McDonald's, which we will be at shortly.
I'd like to gather all these here. Remember? I saw the video when I saw that he was the center. He was the center. Yes, before down the sides of that. And he was the heartbeat of their family, the voice of their own mama. You can see it in the video. That he's targeting them.
a little bit. Right in here. I he was in. No filming. Okay, they actually they have a ability to, to tell me to do that. It's a bit controversial with them being escorted to the door. <laughs> but I got some shots, bro. I was, I, you were right there with me. That's where it happened. And that's Pono Ke Aloha. Here, are you the guy streaming live? Yeah, I'm streaming live. And you're Jeff Davis, right? Huh? You're Jeff Davis? Yeah, man. Okay, I was also streaming uh, Makiki Neighborhood Board Candidates Forum. Oh, that was me, too. And then my show today was medical marijuana with the woman with the five year old. But I want these guys on, so if you're connected to this. Okay, I'll tell them to give you a call. Well, actually, you just gave it to me. I have it in my pocket. All right. Thank I'll you. have them contact you. Okay. Uh, we're talking to radio guy Jeff Davis. He's also called the Solar Guy, and he's also running for governor on the Libertarian ticket. Uh, so I'm now catching up to uh, the group. Okay, so. That's pretty much the uh, demo. People are walking, walking back into their cars and stuff. I'm going to stay with uh, the group a little bit uh, more because I want to deliver the uh, card to uh, Kalama. It's a heck of a thing to run the McDonald's where there's a, a really well-known, notorious uh, murder has taken place. I said, oh, yeah, give I this to you because oh, you have a couple. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> Drunken federal agent Christopher Deedy was found not guilty of murdering Colin Elder here in Waikiki, November 2011. This is an outrage and a travesty. Should not get away with murder. Colin 
our way back. Uh, we were at the McDonald's. Um, we're now on Kuhio Avenue, which runs kind of parallel to Kalakaua, a, a couple blocks in uh, from the beach. So. We're talking about a murder that happened during uh, APEC, the uh, Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation. Cooperation. We are in the financial economic intestine of uh, Hawaii, of Oahu for sure. Tourism is the non number one uh, revenue generator for, uh, and the uh, tourist industry is composed of course for, of uh, many uh, corporations who uh, get the best real estate here. Uh, use a tremendous amount of resources in terms of water and electricity. Special deals. And they try uh, every year to keep wages as low as possible. Getting backwards here. <laughs> Shooting over my shoulder. Hope you can see what's going on here. We'll get everybody to say spill out of the tunnel here. Interesting thing was that during APEC, the uh, mayor uh, instructed the police not to make any uh, prostitution arrests. <laughs> there are no arrests for prostitution during APEC week. See you later, Mikey. Mike Todd, activist in the electric scooter. Okay. This uh, little corridor here is actually a protection for uh, construction that's going on. Now we're going back to Kalakaua and uh, we will be so it's too dark here. <laughs> Kuhio uh, maintains the prostitution friendly lighting of my use. <laughs> I was just saying that during APEC the mayor ordered that there be no arrest for prostitution. Oh really? Yep. And in fact that was the case. too dark so we're heading out toward Kalakaua which is the <laughs> the retail street you know Kuhio is the <laughs> not so retail part of the street more of the if Waikiki is the uh, intestine the 
economic intestine of uh, Honolulu, then Kuhio is probably like the, the colon, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I shouldn't say that. It's probably, it's nice in the daytime, you know what I'm saying? I'm walking in front of the group toward Kalakaua. Now I grew up here, I'm an old guy, I'm 62. Uh, when I was a kid we used to come down here a lot. Uh, less so now, less local people. Although you come down when there's a reason to celebrate. It's a little bit rugged after dark, I gotta say. You know, in the dark streets. You can uh, go to YouTube and look on, uh, look, search for like Waikiki brawls. So we're heading out toward the uh, Kalakaua, which is that street right there. A lot of. Uh, non mom and pop kind of places those places disappeared used to be you know not anymore let's see if we got the group behind me well i seem to have lost the group no i hear them okay Walking toward Kalakaua and back to the zoo, thanks uh, if you followed me this far. Uh, we had a rally at Honolulu Zoo. We walked to uh, the McDonald's where the actual shooting occurred. Had a short vigil there and we're on our way back. Uh, there might be some, a few words uh, at the end. It usually is kind of a wrap up of why we were here and, and who was here and that sort of thing. And stay with me and if there is, uh, we'll catch that. But if not, thanks for following uh, along uh, this far. We're going to go in front of the uh, police station again. Streets are crowded today, tonight. I guess we have the, um, still have the summer tourists. Summer tourists are the cheap guys, they don't spend as much. Winter guys. And golden wheat guys in the winter, they spend more per person. So we're, we got them by volume. You know, the, the industry has them by volume.
guys got a license to do that. <laughs> I thought we were going in front of the police station, but it seems not to be the case. I'm going to find a place to turn around. decent area to get a position here so we can see the street and the people. Here we go. Hey! <laughs> Is this where you work? Yeah. Which one? Yeah. We'll come, we're, I'm gonna I'm gonna come and put a tent in lucky. front of your side. He's he's good looking. Oh he's got a live damn <laughs> He does, he does. Justice! Justice! Justice for Colin Elder! We're in front of Dave Moskowitz's place where we'll be having a camp out soon. Are you? <laughs> I'm not. I'm kidding. Returning from the uh, rally and vigil, just as we call an elders, we went to the McDonald's where he was shot by Christopher Didi, Special Agent Didi, uh, November 5th, 2011, uh, APEC week, APEC, the Asia Pacific Economic Cooperation, uh, meeting of uh, international corporations who uh, make plans and then take it back to their home countries to change the laws in order to accommodate their plans. time have we seen you uh, brandishing the poo over your head? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You're live. Protesting steak and steak and garlic shrimp. I'm at the front now. I'm going to turn this around. We are at the uh, far end of uh, Kalakaua, approaching the zoo. Kalakaua is one way, of course. It was went both ways when I was a kid, and there was like parking along the street too, which there isn't anymore, unless you're police. I'm going to turn it around so we can see a little bit of the. Like the crowd as we pass by, let's guess uh, country of origin, somewhere in Asia. <laughs> and I can't tell anymore. 
There used to be a lot of visitors from Japan, I think they still are, but there are also visitors, visitors from Korea and China. Here's another McDonald's. The darkness across the street is the ocean. There's an interesting short story called And Finally Paradise written 35 years ago that takes place right here predicts uh, the special districting of Hawaii as a financial intestine. We're waiting for uh, the crowd to come by. I'm, I'm stopping here because there's a nice light from this McDonald's and we'll be able to see. Is it? You're live, bro. You're live, live streaming from the occupied territory of Hawaii. That's it. Why do you no say Where there's no peace occupied? and justice. Well, because there's no annexation treaty that U.S. is occupying by force, not that's based right. on the force of law, but based on the force alone. So that's why it by is. By weapons, like yes. the kind of... Uh, Gunpoint and the occupation. So this is like Palestine. You know, people got to understand that. Our oh, people are nice, so they're not shooting rockets, but it's the same situation. You know what I'm saying? So, until the occupation ends, there's no peace and justice. It's an international issue. It's, it's not it. a domestic American murder crime it's issue. It's an international you know issue. Definitely. This is evidence of war crime. It's against the international law. You know what I'm saying? So, it's evident, clear evidence. <laughs> Live streaming from the occupied territory. From the occupied territory. Oh, boy. That's right. And factually quite true, there was no treaty of annexation. Actually, annexation treaty was defeated by the so-called Kue petition. That's right. So, uh, the Senate was persuaded by this overwhelming number of people, Kanakamaori and the national, signing this petition. So, it was defeated. And in view of the uh, treaty, they passed this resolution called New Lands Resolution, which is simply a domestic resolution, has no relevance to the international treaty. Right. There's no nothing binding with that resolution. So we still have this military occupation happening in Hawaii. That's still what here it, in Hawaii, that's right. Yes. Twenty five percent of the land is occupied by the US military. True. And it belongs to the Crown land. Crown which land. is the governmental land and private property of the sovereign of the Kingdom of Hawaii. So there is no transfer of deed Therefore, it still belongs to the Hawaiian Kingdom. So the only way they can transfer is to reinstate the sovereign, and he or she can sign it. Then you can transfer. Until then, nothing is happening. That's right. That's the occupied situation. That's the occupied. Yes. Situation. Live streaming from the occupied territory of Hawaii. Thanks for putting it into <laughs> accurate historic. Uh, yes, Dr. Dread. <laughs> Dr. Dread himself. <laughs> Okay, we're on our way back. That was a good synopsis of the actual historical backdrop. Got people uh, ambling back. I like uh, this uh, later night view because we get a good scene of the First industry here in uh, occupied Hawaii. Uh, stopping a little bit to get uh, people together.
Okay, right across the street is where we started. Why did we stop? I don't know. But <laughs> we have a group. The group kind of stopped here. I'm going to make sure. I got some footage. We got the remaining group out here. You can't see too well. It's actually brighter than uh, Stopped here a little while. They stopped so that people could. Uh, yep. Okay. Near the uh, end of the march. No justice, no peace. 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 They, uh, temperature wise, uh, no justice, no warm peace. night. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. Hands up, don't shoot. Hands up, don't shoot. Hands up, don't shoot. Park. I think there'll be a little gathering. Final words. Thanks for uh, following along. Dark in the park, so I don't know uh, if we'll be able to get any image. If we can, I'll stay with it. If we can get some sound, I'll stay with it. Otherwise, uh, I will sign out. But I want to thank everybody for following along this far. Uh, I believe that if you are a live stream member, you can make uh, isolate clips and uh, highlight. Yeah.
Now, I know some people were here anonymously. So maybe the darkness is good for that. I do have a light on this thing. Let's see if that helps at all. Well, it doesn't. I mean, what it does is it gets in people's eyes. <laughs> We're headed toward the light where we might be able to get some image yeah, here. The light. <laughs> Sounds a little religious, but. <laughs> Turn away from the light. <laughs> Okay, we're under a street light, which is probably the best we're going to hit here. We are where we started. The, they're going to have probably a little bit of a final words. Can you guys see anything at all? Well, okay. I'll uh, stay with it just so we can get some, if we can get some audio. Very fast. 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 Very People are getting in a circle. I'm going to stay with it because so we can get audio. They're with us. We are live from the end of the Col Justice for Colin Elders. Uh, Live stream. It's dark, so you can't see anything. We're gonna get a pule or a prayer at the end. Stay with us, and we'll get the audio of that. Okay, thanks for being with us. We're going to cut out now. Um, I'm going to let it run a little bit, so uh, because I notice live stream sometimes truncates the recording, takes a little bit from the beginning and end. Uh, I believe if you are a live stream member, you can isolate certain parts to make uh, highlights. There were certainly a number of highlights that I'd isolate. I'm going to download it and uh, try and isolate some stuff.